you just sell my 12 year old brother and his 10 year old girlfriend a vape? What do you think of vaping? Probably not great, but it's not going to stop me from doing it. Whoa, that's a lot of vapes. You've made $8 million in vapes. Pretty much, yeah. I uh, had a seizure that was caused from vaping. If the vape can get you eye, I'm fucking there. Today I'm going to be investigating the vaping epidemic in Australia. Australia is currently undergoing a vaping epidemic. Many assume vaping is less detrimental than conventional tobacco cigarettes. However, New South Wales Health established that this may not be true, as vaping hasn't been studied in depth due to their novelty. The number of e-cigarette users in Victoria has increased tremendously from an estimate of 150,000 users in 2019 to over 300,000 users as of October last year. According to a recent study called Generation Vape, more than 30% of 14 to 17 year old kids in Australia engage in this activity and according to them, access to vapes are so easy, the reports have shown that it's no longer surprising to find kids selling vapes in the gym changing rooms. Just last month, a disturbing video surfaced online on social media of a 10-month-old boy inhaling a vape while his two carers were laughing. But is there more than meets the eye on this vaping epidemic? Surely people can't be willingly destroying their bodies purely for enjoyment. Today I'm going to be getting to the bottom of this by finding out what's truly going on behind the minds of the people involved in this predicament. Alright you guys, we have just arrived in Newtown, notorious for... We're going to be taking a deep dive into Australia's vaping epidemic and we're going to be asking some locals what they think of it. All right, what's your name? Emily. And what's in your hand that you have here today? I would say a vape. Oh, yeah. you're caught out on camera, you know? Oh, 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 you didn't say nothing. And now, Emily, what do you think about the vaping ban in 2022? <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I think about it. What are you guys up to today? Great. Oh, you're going to start graphing up the tracks or? Hey, no one said that. What do you guys think of vapes? They are for people with mummy issues. It simulates the mother's nipple. What is the future that you want to see for 2020? Five. That people die off real fast. <laughs> oh, we're definitely in Newtown, eh? Tim, what's your name? Nicole. What do you think of vaping? Probably not great, but it's not going to stop me from doing it. The one I have is banana, pomegranate, cherry. If there was a rainbow vape, would you buy that one? <laughs> Probably, if it's a good flavor. All right, what's your name? Sophia. Eve. That's my mum's name. And Sophie. Oh. That's my cousin's name. Oh. It's kind of weird. Anyway, do you guys vape by any chance? Yeah. And why do you vape? Because. You think like you're like cool and stuff? Yeah, obviously. I thought so. And what do you think of the vaping ban in 2023? I don't really care. They're still selling vapes, so. Vapes! Never touch it, never smoke it, never will. Fuck, I don't even like smoking cigarettes, but I do. But it's a bad habit. It's hard to get off, man. Just like women, you know, bad habits. If the vape can get your eye, I'm fucking there. Oi, Ash lad, how are ya? Hey, so do you vape? Yes, I do. And uh, how many kids in your U group vape like you? Like all of them. Yeah. And uh, how old are you? 16. And uh, whose uh, TNs did you rack? Huh? Oh, just this like year seven I saw. And how did you get the mullet? How long did it take you? And the ratty, look at that. Hey, uh, so we have another ratty for the video guys right here. Can we say this is like an SA ratty? Uh, yeah, this is an SA ratty. SA ratty. Max. And what would you say to the kids out there that want to vape and be cool like their friends? No, it's no good. And when they get people to go and get it for them, because um, they won't serve them for the vape, no. That's not bad. It was surprising to see so many people, including underage school kids, talk about their vaping habits. But what I came across next shocked me. See guys, Australia is an absolute disgrace. You can find vapes in vending machines like we have here at Wynyard Station. Literally every single flavor you can find, there's the cherry one. That, look, have a look, have a look, have a look. Every single type you can find. So I now know why it's so accessible for the kids to find vapes. So I think it's a problem we have to fix. I now understood how so many kids were getting their hands on these vapes. But would a local shop owner willingly sell one to a minor? I decided to get my cameraman Nick's 17 year old brother and his girlfriend to test this out. All right, you guys, we are just here with Nick's brother, Angelo. What's up, man? And uh, Angelo's girlfriend. What was your name again? Paige. Paige. So uh, how old are you guys? 17. So we're just standing outside a very well-known vape store in Sydney. We want to see if Angelo and Paige can uh, successfully buy one, even being underage. Um, do you sell vapes by any chance? No, I left it in my car. Do I need ID? Yeah. The boss? Do you want to sell vapes? Yeah. He just said no straight away. Uh, well, that, that store has succeeded, I guess. Can I, my vape? Can we get blackberry ice, please? Yeah, hey bro, do you guys sell vapes? Uh, just to be 18? Yeah. Yeah? You got an idea? I got an idea. Excuse me, bro. Hey, can you just buy me a vape, bro? Uh, please, because I think I might be on there, bro. Thanks, bro. Yeah, thanks, bro. Can I just buy a vape, please? Oh, one sec, one sec. Wait, what flavor? <laughs> uh, black, blackberry ice. Blackberry. Bro. No, no, for myself, for myself. Thanks, bro. I can't thank you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're back on camera? <laughs> hey, just so you guys know, it's for me. 
You repeat that? Yeah, yeah, it's for him, it's not for me. I don't vape. I couldn't believe how easy it was for Nick's little brother to buy these vapes. The shopkeepers we came across didn't even seem to care about a stranger like me attempting to buy one for him. But I didn't expect what was about to happen next. Hey, how are you? Hey, do you guys sell vapes? Yeah. Do you have your ID on you? No, I thought you pranked the bullets. I left it in the car. Wait, how are you paying card or are you paying cash? Card. Card? Yeah. What do you want? I, just want? I just wanted to get a vape, but she left her ID in the car. I'll get it. Yeah, I'll give you my ID. Yeah, Blake. Don't worry, I'll buy it. I'll walk out, give it to him. You don't have to know. Don't worry. That was, that? That was good, eh? I was getting sick and tired of all these dodgy store owners selling Nick's underage brother all these vapes. So I decided to confront one. Oh, excuse me? Did you just sell my 12-year-old brother and his 10-year-old girlfriend a vape? Uh, I see. The guy in the red shirt? That just came in like two minutes ago? Yeah, I see. So that was my 12-year-old brother and his girlfriend's 10 years old. So you just sold them this? I don't know their Did you ask for their ID? No. Yeah, they're obviously very young. Oh my god, I didn't know that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, can I just get a refund, please? It was obvious that these shopkeepers had no remorse when it came to selling kids vapes. And I wanted to find out where these stores were getting their supplies from. A friend of mine once told me he knew someone who was an undercover vape dealer. So I gave him a call to see if he would be interested in doing an interview. After weeks of trying to convince this guy to say yes, he reluctantly agreed. And we went to visit him in his undercover warehouse. But before that, a quick 15 second word from our sponsors. All right, you guys, gonna have a quick break in between filming and wanted to give a massive shout out to You Foods for sponsoring today's video. I've got the chili con Khan and Mexican rice with me with 25 grams of protein. Make sure you guys use a discount code right here for $200 off your first five boxes. This is where you run all the, the operations from. Whoa, that's a stash and a half. A bit low on stock at the moment, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Got all we could ready for you. How many vapes do you usually have in here? Um, we usually have about at least five to 10,000 at a time. Five to 10,000? Before we send out stock. So like all these shelves are usually full? All these shelves are usually full, yeah. So pretty much you've come at the end of the day where all the orders have been sent out. How do people like order? Because obviously I know that there's been that vaping ban recently that's been implemented. So with the, with the ban, like, so it's still a gray area. There's no actually law behind it at the moment. Uh, they're still trying to work that out, but they've been saying that for the last three years. So how does this whole operation work? Because obviously I know nothing about vapes. I'm just- So we have a, we have a web, website. So we're uh, I guess official supplier here in Australia. Okay. So I get .com to you. We pretty much get orders from there um, all over Australia. Do you vape yourself? No, I don't. Don't get high on your own supply. Do you yourself think vaping is safe? It's just as bad as cigarettes. If you sold a vape to someone, say like a minor, and they had some sort of long-term vaping injury, do you think you'd feel bad about it? Yeah, of course you feel bad. Look, we have um, like, you know, parents call up all the time saying that uh, my kids use my credit card to purchase of your site, and we straight away offer them a refund. But we have no intentions of selling to minors whatsoever. Would you say that in Australia, we are currently undergoing a vaping epidemic? Yeah, I would say so. So this is what we'll do. Um, over the last year, we shipped out around 19,000 orders. How much have you made? It's over here? Yeah, everything's there. You can see what each business does. So you've made $8 million from vapes? Pretty much, yeah. Far out. It was now clear to me how many different ways people, including kids, could buy vapes here in Australia. But what exactly are the repercussions of this? I met up with a girl named Cammy who has been living with a permanent health condition caused by vaping. So yeah, how old were you when you started vaping? Three years ago, so 18-ish. Why did you start vaping? Um, yeah, to get off the smoking the cigarettes, um, they tasted nicer. When did you first start to notice uh, bad symptoms from vaping? Um, about five months ago. Um, I used to run, I was quite active, um, and then when I was running, I started feeling pains in my chest, yep. um, and then I got sick. So I went into the hospital, we did x-rays, turned out I had minor scarring in my lungs and constant mucus. And now I have asthma from it, so I have to carry a popper with me everywhere. Did anything come out of your lungs, like mucus or any colour? Yes, mucus, so like really gross, yellowy, greeny mucus would come out. Um, now I still get the mucus coming every now and then, um, which isn't fun, pretty annoying. But I do have a friend whose brother had a seizure that was caused from vaping. Um, ended up in the hospital, nearly died, so that was a result from the vaping. Uh, what advice would you give to people out there that are considering vaping or that do vape currently? Don't do it and stop. I know it's marketed towards people, it has the bright colours, the fun fruity flavours, but it is not worth it. If I had one regret, it would be starting vaping, um, smoking in general, don't do it.
It became clear to me that my suspicions were correct and I can confirm that Australia is currently undergoing a vaping epidemic. It was crazy to see how this new trend became so rampant in only a few short years, especially amongst kids under the age of consent. Vapes are a new phenomenon that is so new on the market and there hasn't been much long-term research done on the health effects they may have on people, especially children. I can see that young people are being used as guinea pigs by those who want to make a quick profit off this new vaping trend. We really need to do more to stop this vaping problem by focusing on keeping the youth healthy, making strict rules, educating people more, and implementing stronger bans for people that do buy vapes. I hope you guys learned something from this video, and if you do vape or consider vaping, please be careful.